you chose to play it safe. The reason there are few self-made rich people is because few people can tolerate disappointment. Instead of learning to face disappointment, they spend their lives avoiding it. Rich Dad believed that disappointment is an important part of learning. Just as we learn from our mistakes, we gain character from our disappointments. The following are some words of advice he gave me over the years, expect to be disappointed. Professional investors are people who risk little of their own money and yet still make the highest returns. Remember, bankers love debtors because debtors make the bank rich. If a young couple would put more money into their asset column early on, their later years would be easier. Their assets would have grown and would be available to help cover expenses. All too often, a house only serves as a vehicle for incurring a home equity loan to pay for mounting expenses. When you know you are ignorant in a subject, start educating yourself. Most are not ashamed to say they took a loss, because a winner knows that losing is part of the process of winning. Be truthful about your emotions and use your mind and emotions in your favor, not against yourself. Don't delay. Every day that you work in your business without a vision, without a plan, and without proving it works is another day that you delay your success. Often people get stuck in the S quadrant on their journey to the B quadrant. This happens primarily because they don't develop a strong enough system and end up becoming an integral part of the system. Successful bees develop a system that will run without their involvement. Think and grow rich. My rich dad used to say to his son and me that the only difference between a rich person and a poor person is what they do in their spare time. The first step was admitting to themselves what they were feeling. Too often people reacted to their emotions instead of thinking logically. They're afraid to admit money is running their lives, and so money controls them. War between the haves and have-nots has raged for hundreds of years. The battle is waged whenever and wherever laws are made, and it will go on forever. The problem is that the people who lose are the uninformed, the ones who get up every day and diligently go to work and pay taxes. If they only understood the way the rich play the game, they could play it too. The road not taken two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler, long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth, then took the other, as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim. Because it was grassy and wanted wear though as for that the passing there had worn them really about the same, and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. And. When I first came out with my first book if you want to be rich and happy, don't go to school. A publisher suggested I change the title to The Economics of Education. I told the publisher that with a title like that, I would sell two books, one to my family and one to my best friend. The problem is, they would expect it for free. The obnoxious title If You Want to Be Rich and Happy, Don't Go to School, was chosen because we knew it would get tons of publicity. I am pro-education and believe in education reform. Otherwise, why would I continue to press for changing our antiquated educational system?
so I chose a title that would get me on more TV and radio shows, simply because I was willing to be controversial. Many people thought I was a fruitcake, but the book sold and sold. Money is the carrot, the illusion. If the donkey could see the whole picture, it might rethink its choice to chase the carrot. Successful on the right side, especially the I quadrant, you must think in numbers. It's very risky trying to be an investor while still thinking predominantly in words.